Hey, welcome back. Microsoft Azure Sentinel is a cloud native SIM tool that is built on Azure. My name is Sushant Sutish and I'm your trainer for this Microsoft 365 certified security administrator associate course. After this lesson, you would be able to explain how Azure Sentinel functions, configure permissions and roles for users using Sentinel, connect data sources to Azure Sentinel, and configure templates for Sentinel to identify threats and explain how playbooks are used to automate threat responses. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Microsoft Azure Sentinel is a scalable, cloud-native and security information event management SIM and security orchestration automated response, which is known as SOAR solution. Azure Sentinel delivers intelligent security analytics and threat intelligence across the enterprise, providing a single solution for alert detection, threat visibility, proactive hunting, and threat response. Azure Sentinel is your bird's eye view across the enterprise, elevating the stress of increasingly sophisticated attacks, increasing volumes of alerts, and long resolution frameworks. You can collect data at cloud scale across all users, devices, applications, and infrastructure, both on-premises and in multiple clouds. And you can detect previously undetected threats and minimize false positives using Microsoft Analytics and unparalleled threat intelligence. Then you would be able to investigate threats with artificial intelligence and hunt for suspicious activities at scale tapping into years of cybersecurity work at Microsoft. And finally, you would be able to respond to incident rapidly with built-in orchestration and automation of common tasks. Building on full range of existing Azure services, Azure Sentinel natively incorporates proven foundations like log analytics and logic apps. And Azure Sentinel enriches your investigation and detection with artificial intelligence and provides Microsoft Threat Intelligence Stream and enables you to bring your own threat intelligence as well. So let's look at what are the Sentinel actions. So what you see over here are the key elements to configure and utilize your Sentinel. The first one is connect to all your data. So to onboard Azure Sentinel, you first need to connect to your security sources. Second is workbooks. After you connected your data sources to Azure Sentinel, you can monitor the data using the Azure Sentinel integration with Azure Monitor Workbooks. Third is Analytics. To help you reduce noise and minimize the number of alerts you have to review and investigate, Azure Sentinel uses Analytics to correlate alerts into incidents. Incidents are group of related alerts that together create an actionable possible threat that you can investigate and resolve. Fourth is security automation and orchestration or known as SOAR. You can automate your common task and simplify security orchestration with playbooks that integrate with Azure services as well as your existing tools. The last element is hunting. Use Azure Sentinel's powerful hunting and search and query tools based on Mitchell framework, which enables you to proactively hunt for specific threats across your organization's data sources before an alert is triggered. Let's understand the permissions and roles within Azure Sentinel. Azure Sentinel uses role-based access control to provide built-in roles that can be assigned to users, groups, and services in Azure. Using RBAC, you can use and create roles within your security operations team to grant appropriate access to Azure Sentinel. Based on the roles, you have fine-grained control over what users with access to Azure Sentinel can see. You can assign RBAC roles in the Azure Sentinel workspace directly or to the subscription or resource group that the workspace belongs to. So within Azure Sentinel roles, there are three specific built-in roles. All Azure Sentinel built-in roles grant read access to the data in your Azure Sentinel workspace. Then we have Azure Roles. Azure Roles grant access across all your Azure resources, including Log Analytics Workspace and Azure Sentinel resources. Different roles available are Owner, Contributor, and Reader. 
The last one is log analytics roles. Log analytics roles grant access across all your log analytics workspaces. There are two roles, contributor and reader. So how do you connect data sources? To onboard Azure Sentinel, you first need to connect to your data sources. Azure Sentinel comes with a number of connectors from Microsoft solutions available out of the box and providing real-time integration, including Microsoft Threat Protection Solutions and Microsoft 365 sources, including Office 365, Azure AD, Azure ATP, and Microsoft Cloud App Security. To connect your external application to Azure Sentinel, the agent must be deployed on a dedicated machine to support the communication between the appliance and Azure Sentinel. You can deploy the agent automatically or manually. Automatic deployment is only available if your dedicated machine is a new VM you are creating in Azure. Alternately, you can deploy the agent manually on an existing Azure VM, on a VM in another cloud, or on an on-premises machine. So let's understand the analytics. After you connected your data sources to Azure Sentinel, you want to be notified when something suspicious happens. To do this, Azure Sentinel provides you with out-of-the-box built-in templates. So what are the different types of templates available? The first one is Microsoft Security Template. Microsoft Security Templates automatically create Azure Sentinel incidents from the alerts generated in other Microsoft Security solutions in real time. Next one is Fusion Template. Based on Fusion technology, Advanced multi-stage attack detection in Azure Sentinel uses scalable machine learning algorithms that can correlate many low fidelity alerts and events across multiple products into high fidelity and actionable incidents. The next one is machine learning behavioral analytics. These templates are based on proprietary Microsoft machine learning algorithms so you cannot see the internal logic of how they work and when they run. The last one is scheduled. Scheduled analytic rule are scheduled queries written by Microsoft security experts. You can see the query logic and make changes to it. You can use scheduled rule as a template to create new rules with similar logic. Let's understand the automated threat response. The volume of alerts generated is so huge that available security admins are overwhelmed. This results all too often in situations where many alerts can't be investigated, leaving the organization vulnerable to attacks that go unnoticed. Many, if not most, of these alerts confirm to recurring patterns that can be addressed by specific and defined remediation actions. Azure Sentinel already enables you to define your remediation in playbooks. So what are playbooks? A security playbook is a collection of procedures that can be run from Azure Sentinel in response to an alert. A security playbook can help automate and orchestrate your response and can be run manually or set to run automatically when specific alerts are triggered. Security playbook in Azure Sentinel are based on Azure Logic Apps, which means that you get all the power, customizability, and built-in templates of Logic Apps. Each playbook is created for the specific subscription you choose. But when you look at these playbooks page, you will see all playbooks across any selected subscriptions. Please note that playbooks leverage Azure Logic Apps and these security playbooks can run either manually or automatically. Running them manually means that when you get an alert, you can choose to run a playbook on demand as a response to the selected alert. Running them automatically means that while authoring the correlation rule, you set it to automatically run one or more playbooks when the alert is triggered. Now let's understand how to hunt for threats. If you are an investigator who wants to be proactive about looking for security threats, you can use Azure Sentinel's powerful hunting search and query tools to hunt for security threats across your organization's data sources. But your systems and security appliances generate mountains of data that can be difficult to parse and filter into meaningful events. To help security analysts look proactively for new anomalies that weren't detected by your security apps, 
Anxious sentinels built in hunting queries guide you into asking wide questions to find issues in the data you already have on your network. So what are the capabilities of Azure Sentinel? The first one is built-in queries. To get you started, a starting page provides preloaded query examples designed to get you started and get you familiar with the tables and query language. The next one is powerful query language with IntelliSense. This is built on top of the query language and that gives you the flexibility you need to take hunting to the next level. The third one is create your own bookmarks. During the hunting process, you may come across matches or findings dashboards or activities that look unusual or suspicious in order to mark those items so you can come back to them in the future. Use the bookmark functionality. And the fourth is use notebooks to automate investigation. So notebooks are like step-by-step -step playbooks that you can build to walk through the steps of an investigation and hunt. And notebooks encapsulate all the hunting steps in a reusable playbook that can be shared with others in your organization. And the last capability is query the store data. So the data is accessible in tables for you to query. For example, you can query process creation, DNS events, and many other event types. All right, so that concludes the lesson on Azure Sentinel. In the next video, we're going to learn about advanced threat analytics. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.